what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video on Shade of Desmond and Shade of Rush channel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on our YouTube page because we are showing you stretches, we are showing you dance moves, we are showing you ways to loosen up your uh, mind, your spirit, your soul, and to lose that belly fat. But check out our TikTok, Desmond and Shade of Rush Thomas' page because my husband created techniques at the gym for women to work on her lower body and I'm your lady cook, he's the genius. So that means check out our channel because we do workouts on our TikTok channel and we do diets and everything else on our YouTube and I think our YouTube is important to watch and follow. Like I said, we do stretches on there. So, like, comment, and subscribe on both pages. Let's get started. So, these are stretches to help loosen you up, especially if you've been doing my husband's techniques, especially for some of the techniques. So, this technique, I feel like, is definitely beneficial if you were doing hip flip activities. And I guess this is a special because I made all of the techniques that my husband created. So let's do hip flip activators, starting off with a lunge, kind of, sort of. And then like this, this is a sideways lunge. The more we're going to move this leg out and just go on the side for that lunge. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. One, two. So like I said, not a forward lunge, but to the side upper body. You know, keep your upper body straight and legs apart. And then you feel the stretch along the inner thigh of the opposite leg. Let's work on it. Okay, so as we stretch out the other leg, go. For video sake purposes, I'm definitely going to um, do this for only 10 seconds to keep it moving. So go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. There you go. That was the first stretch. Now let's do calf stretch. You know, you put one foot forward with the bent knee. And then we're going to stretch out the back leg. So line it up for both knees. And then for the hip knee, we just stretch out this calf a little bit right here. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, other side. So 10. to move on to chest shoulder stretch we're going to interlace fingers with the bent elbow behind your head and put your hands behind your head as well and we're just going to interlock fingers and we're going to move our shoulder blades into in like let it like crash into each other so we're going to stretch for 10 seconds keep your body um more so up to the sky, keep your head pointed up to the sky. Let's go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. We're going to change that, um, that stretch. So instead of going like this, I want to bring it in more using my hands and elbows. So let's go 1, 2, Like I said, we're only doing 10 seconds a day instead of 30 because we don't want to take up 
all the time, first of all. And then second of all, we should be stretching before we start our day. So this should be a very everyday opportunity or routine to do before you start your day. So we're moving on to glute bridge. We're going to stretch out those hip flexors. We're going to tighten up our stomach. That way we can also, you know, prevent overstretching and flatten our back more when we tighten up our stomach. So glute bridge, glute bridge, tighten up that stomach. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. We're almost done, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to stretch with us, it's fine. But we're moving on to standing quad stretch. We're going to avoid bending forward and try not to lock the knee when you're standing with your leg. Um, that's stretching. Don't lock the knee. That's stretching. So let's go. I mean, that's standing. Don't lock the knee. That's standing. Now we're bending. Let's go. So you're just going you fall. You don't want to stay with yourself. You just fall. Go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side, let's go. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ooh, that stretch felt so good. But like I said, you don't want to overstretch and then it gets all sensitive. So they're removing on to cobra this stretches out the stomach and back muscles so we're going to do a cobra let's go push on the wheel of your hand to make your elbow your elbow your shoulders go up more <laughs> 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 and 2 one, zero. That was Cobra. Give it a nice child pose and also cat pose as well. Arch that back. Then we're going to do standing hip flexor. The hip flexors are a muscle that helps you lift your knees and help you bend at the waist. So we're going to just kick out one leg. I guess we can do it like this so you can see it. Kick out one leg and then uh, both. I guess we can kick out both legs and then stretch with one. Let's go. You should feel it on your hamstrings. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let's bring it over to the other side. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. So now we are going to do a butterfly stretch. We're going to rock our soles together on our feet. And this is going to loosen up the inner thighs, groin, hips, and knee. If you've been doing hip dip activators, I've mentioned this in my video again, you'll definitely feel it. But more so in the glutes, but you'll definitely feel it. So let's go. 10. All right, I don't want to talk about it. Let me turn around so y'all won't see it. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! You can definitely feel that. That was a butterfly stretch. Um, Next, we're going to do stand hamstring stretch. Oh, hip, that was hip flexor. Stand hamstring flex. Basically, going to stand. And then we're going to just bend at the waist, kick our leg out a little bit, and we're going to feel it in the hamstring. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side, we're almost done. One, two, three. I think the next 
what uh, exercise we're going to do is beneficial for just like everything your whole hips and glutes if you've been doing my herpes techniques we're going to do figure four one of my favorites this is the position pick your dominant leg you want to stretch out and then you grab from here and you just bend forward so one so let me see what we're okay go one two three four five Eight, nine, and ten. I felt all three here. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! We're almost done, and we're just going to do a little sideways neck stretch. You're gonna stand with hip hip width apart. You're going to tighten your belly, and you're going to pull your shoulders back, and then you're also going to pull your neck back. Pull shoulders back. Pull that neck to your right. Let's begin. One, two, three. Let your shoulders drop. Get back. Do more of that muscle. The other side. Yes, we are done stretching. Be sure to check out my you or uh, my husband's uh, techniques on our YouTube page. I mean, our TikTok page is in the description of a like, comment, and subscribe. You'll definitely be able to see all of my husband's techniques, especially today because I'm dropping a video today. And yes, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.